Before we get into tonight's video, let me introduce you to my other ASMR channel, Be Hasty ASMR. On that channel, I provide lo-fi fast content. If you like anything fast, unpredictable, chaotic, fast and aggressive and funny ASMR role plays and ASMR trigger videos, this channel is for you. You can find the link in the description box below. Please head on over, subscribe and check out my other videos. I am on the way to 100,000 subscribers. We have a long way to go, but I would love to have you on this journey with me. Thanks so much. Please enjoy tonight's ASMR video. Hello lovely. How are you? Good. I'm Dr Nicola. It's lovely to meet you. How have you been? That's good. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. So I'll be carrying out your skin assessment today. I've had a look through your notes and you're concerned about ageing, is that right? Okay, not to worry. What I will do is have a good look at your skin and get you to do different things if that's okay. Alright, so when you say ageing, what is it that you are worried about? Okay, so you're just talking about fine lines wrinkles in general. Okay. Yeah. So here. Alright. Okay. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? Okay. So when we get to about 25, our kind of, you know, our skin starts to age very gradually. Okay. But some people notice changes in their 30s. Some people it's 40s, 50s. It just depends. Everybody is different. Okay. And it all depends on what you are doing to maintain your skin yourself. All right. But I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Okay. But what I want to know is what are you using on your skin at home day to day? Okay. How long have you been using that for? Yeah, I'd say come away from that. It's not really got any benefits. All right. Hmm. Do you use sun beds or go in the sun a lot? Okay, well, that's good. And do you use SPF or sunscreen or something? Good. Now, do you ever have facials at the salon? Okay. And what do they use? Okay, well that's good. Nice different variety. Okay, yeah. So, do you have any medical conditions or allergies? Okay, yeah, that won't affect. Alright, and are you on any medication? Yeah, they'll be okay. And do you take any supplements? Okay, not at the moment. Alright. Okay, perfect. Now... Do you have anything on your face today? Perfect. So I'm going to pop some gloves on for this, okay? Now, whilst I'm popping my gloves on, if I can get you to do a few different things for me. Right, if I can just get you to smile first for me and hold it. Okay, now can you try and pull a sad face? Bit tricky that one, isn't it? Okay, can you raise your brows? Okay, can you frown? Okay, relax. Can you scrunch all of your face for me? Okay, relax. Now, can you face that way? Okay, back. That way. Okay, back. Now, can you tilt your head up? 
and back. Wonderful. Now, is it okay if I come close to you and obviously touch your face? Okay, wonderful. So what I'm going to do first is just gently stroke over your face, okay? So I just like to have a feel of your skin to start with. That's it. Now, what type of skin do you think you have? Okay. Have you ever had acne? much alcohol or about smoke and vape. Okay. And do you drink a lot of water, my love? Okay. Definitely try upping that if you can. I know it's usually easier said than done. Diet like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you do any exercise at all, my lovely? Okay. So, I've been touching obviously your face. You haven't gone red, which is good. And I'm guessing you don't really have sensitive skin. Okay. I will be putting your in, in different positions, okay, my love? So the cheek area is nice and clear. Alright, there was no scarring on there and no broken capillaries no blackheads or anything. It's very, very smooth, okay? Which is really nice to see. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay, that's good. Let's see this side. Cheek is very hydrated. Just get that. 
both cheeks are very hydrated. what we call crow's feet. Okay. Just smile. Okay, relax. They're not excessive, but obviously they are visible and obviously they're more prominent when you would smile and things. Okay. here you see anywhere around the eye area it's more thin and obviously around the corners here it gets thinner yeah so you can sometimes see like a little vein in that yeah skin on there. Okay. Yeah, you can't see it when your eyes are open, which is good, but if I stretch I can, you know, see the skin. Okay. Feels hydrated enough. I'm just going to press. So with your eyes closed, they're not that prominent. Right, can you look up for me? Thank you. Just feeling gently. Okay. Okay, so it's very thinning here. little bit of hollowing there which is giving you the little bit of a shadow you can relax okay just giving you a little bit of a shadow here and here which is what we call dark circles and because it's quite inward the hollowing can make it look like we have dark circles okay your eye area is not baggy Okay, so you don't have bags, you don't have puffiness there, okay? Nothing like that at all. It's actually pretty smooth. Alright, it's literally just a slight indent either side here. And it's a little bit bluey, kind of grey, kind of 
very dull, if that makes sense. You know what I mean, yeah. Yeah, so you have to cover those up. Okay, I'm guessing as well, if you're tired or lack of sleep, they're going to look more prominent. Yeah, it's not too bad, it's just about here. You know, and across there's not too bad. And if I'm looking under there for lines, I can see lines under your eyes, okay? I'm just going to stretch, all right? Yeah, so when we go like that, it's gathering upwards, you're pushing it out. That's because your skin is starting to lose its elasticity and it's losing its collagen. Yeah, so it's starting to sag a little bit. It's very common as we age, all right, and our eyes are one of the areas that probably get affected the most. You know, we're blinking, we're scrunching, we're, you know, always using our eyes. Yeah, and you'll find in areas where, you know, you're very expressive or you're doing very repetitive kind of expressions, them areas are going to end up with lines and more lines, okay? You know, because you already get your own definitions, like say here or here and different things, okay? Which is why people get lines in certain areas that, you know, that not everybody has. Yeah. So this eye underneath is identical. So we've got little lines here. I'd say under your eye areas are a little bit dehydrated. Okay. I'm going to just gently... Yeah. Are you using an eye cream? You're not. Okay. That could be a big factor. Alright. An eye cream is a staple product in skincare. Yeah. Especially as we age. Alright. It's going to help hydrate, okay? It's going to help refresh the eye area. It's going to help with any fine lines and wrinkles, okay? Any puffiness and, you know, it's really going to help an eye cream, an eye serum or something like that. Yeah. So, considering you don't use an eye cream, your eyes are actually really good. Let me just have a look. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. So a little like that. Okay. And down, down. Okay, you can open. Okay, that makes sense. That's why that's like that. Okay. Yeah. Right, good. Now, now your face does have a bounce, which is good, but you can tell it's not as bouncy, if that makes sense. Not as spongy, yeah? Obviously, as I said, we lose collagen and elasticity, so we don't have that spongy bounce. Yeah. But, you know, it's quite good. Just stretch, stretch, stretch. Just go like that. Yeah, I wouldn't say you've got an excess amount of skin. No. No, it's not. I mean, you haven't got any weight on your face, or it's not puffy. You don't have any excess sagging skin everywhere, okay? But obviously, if I'm going like that, we're all going to get a little bit of skin. But if I go like that, and you stretch it and your skin goes smooth, so we can tell that you've lost some elasticity, which is why you're probably getting that. And as you go like that and you're rubbing cream on, for example, you're noticing it's a little bit. That's why. Okay. Just stretching. Okay. Good. Right. Let's have a look at your 
Schöne. Okay, so you do have some enlarged pores and some blackheads, okay? It is quite common if you have an enlarged pore to f see a blackhead, okay? Yeah. And sometimes as well when we age, we can get enlarged pores. Right. There's not many enlarged pores and there's not a huge amount of blackheads, but there is some there. Let me just squeeze. But yeah, they could probably come out quite easily. Which is good. You don't have any broken capillaries or any scarring or anything like that on the chin area. I'm just going to feel around. side my love they are lacking some hydration okay do you get sore dry lips a lot okay it's very common as the weather changes if it's cold or if it's windy all right now please make sure you are wearing a really good lip balm okay and make sure we are exfoliating the lips as well yeah we do tend to forget about that but it's really good to give a nice exfoliation once a week Alright, and if you've got a nice lip mask or something as well, it's really going to add the moisture back in. Okay, definitely. But, you know, it's very chapped. It's sore. Okay, well that's good. Alright, make sure we are wearing something, especially if we're out. And if you've not got, say, a lip balm on, you know, maybe use a lip gloss, lipstick or something like that. It's got moisture in it just to keep those lips lubricated. Alright, and make sure you are drinking often as well, because that can obviously cause us to have dry lips. Alright. Upper lip feels fine, looks fine. There's no lines there at all in the lip area. And there isn't any obvious lines here. I mean, obviously when you smile, obviously you've got your indent. But that's just normal, okay. Just squeeze up. Lovely. Okay, good. Now let me have a look at your nose. Okay, so you do have some enlarged pores and some blackheads. Very common on the nose area, alright. You do have some broken capillaries at the side and here and on top and a little bit of discoloration. Alright. It's quite a common area to experience that, especially as we age. Okay. Squeezing. Yeah, we could probably get those blackheads out quite easily. Okay. no scarring on the nose or anything. You do have some pigmentation on that. Yeah, some larger patches of pigmentation on the nose. Yeah. No, I can't see any on your cheeks or anything like that, no. And it is a common thing, in, as we call them age spots. Yeah, and you can get a lot of that, like from sun damage, but there is nothing on the, these areas at all. No, but you do have a little bit on the nose. Obviously, I'll have a look on your forehead as well, but it's just mainly here, really. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me look between your brows. It's nice and clear. 
Now I'm just going to fill in the brows. They feel fine. Okay, now let's go onto your forehead. No oiliness or anything like that, okay. Now, you do have some pigmentation on your forehead, so I'm wondering if this and this is where you've caught the sun a lot. So if you've been wearing sunglasses or something, these areas may be protected. So yes, we do have some pigmentation and you know some larger patches of pigmentation. No scarring, no broken capillaries. And your forehead is definitely dehydrated, my lovely. Yeah, because I can squeeze and then the lines and often are quite broken. They are from dehydration, which is not going to help aging. Yeah, so you obviously we need to drink a lot of water and add things on our face that are going to help hydrate the skin, okay? Because if we don't, that's when the lines that you see will become permanent lines, okay? Yeah. So that's why our face can't be dehydrated, especially if you are concerned about aging, all right? I'm just gonna pull it down. She's still quite rigid in the forehead, which is good, okay? There's not a lot lost in that, so you've still got quite a lot of elasticity, which is good, okay? I mean, there is definitely some fine lines there, okay? But what is making them more prominent is the dehydration, okay? And then the lines that are there were just going to get worse and worse, okay? So if we're starving our skin of hydration and moisture, those lines are just going to get worse and worse, okay? And then they'll just be there. Like this slight little line here is probably the only real line that I can sort of see, which is sort of like an indent line. Yeah, that's probably more of a, a wrinkle. Okay, I mean, it's not obvious, but obviously with me stretching your skin and looking like that, I can see it. Yeah. Because if I stretch like that, it goes smooth. Yeah. But you've still got a lot of elasticity there, yeah? And obviously, you know, still a lot of collagen. Yeah, and that's the thing, it's in stages usually. Yeah, and it's just all about how you look after your skin yourself. A lot of the problems, you know, some things can be genetic, but a lot of the problems are just people are not looking after their skin properly or they're deficient in something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and obviously like using some beds or having too much UV light is a huge problem. Not drinking enough water, not using skincare, believe it or not. Yeah, like some people you can see, usually tell the people that wear skincare and the ones that don't. Yeah. And something is better than nothing, yes, but you need to be using the right products to treat the right things. Okay.
also you definitely have some movement with that okay and that's a really good indication of what your skin's doing yeah so usually when we have younger skin it will be a nice short kind of bounce but then when you've got older skin it doesn't necessarily do that it hasn't got the same distance right i'm going to gently tap your face with this okay i'm just going to push it in i want to see how your skin reacts okay so i'm going to use a small end Can you scrunch your face? Okay, it is bright, my love, so if you would like to close your eyes, that's fine. Okay. Eyes. And definitely see pigmentation more now it's close up.
to wipe over your face with this product. I want to see what your skin does. Okay. Yes, it's soaked in straight away. Your skin is definitely dehydrated. Your skin is definitely aging, obviously it is anyway, but there is areas probably that are a little bit more advanced than others, especially for your age, okay? Now you can't completely reverse aging, but we can do a hell of a lot to help it, yeah. Right, so we could do with getting you to have a blood test. All right. Yeah, because if you are lacking in certain vitamins, that can obviously not help. Yeah. Okay, so... I need to check your vitamin D levels, okay? That can help prevent premature aging, okay? But in supplement form. We don't want you to be out in the sun too much, more than you should, because obviously that's going to have a negative effect. Okay. Now, as with all vitamins, it is essential that we have the right amount. Okay, we don't want too much and we don't want not enough. Okay? Yeah. So, vitamin B. If we don't have enough of that, we're going to get dry, flaky skin and wrinkles. Okay, now vitamin C is essential for obviously our immune system, but it's also fundamental for the production of collagen, okay? So if we don't have enough of that, you're not going to get enough collagen, and then that's going to cause sagging, all right? Fine lines and wrinkles will appear, okay? And then vitamin A is known to be a wrinkle reducing vitamin okay it also regenerates skin cells it can remove damaged elastin fibers stimulates production of collagen and elastin okay so we need to check all your vitamin levels as well as the ones i've mentioned and we're doing iron levels there are some liver function glucose 
I'm just going to do a selection of different bloods, okay. Anything that could be linked to the skin and things that could show through that, I will be testing as well. Okay. I'm going to be checking your hormone levels. If our hormones if you're not having enough, then that can cause it as well. So, you know, like if we get, you know, when we go through the menopause and things, we can lose collagen and, you know, elasticity gets, you know, less and things. Yeah. So it's always good to check our hormone levels as well. And yeah, when you're not getting, if you're not getting enough estrogen, that can cause a lot of problems and obviously doesn't help our skin. Yeah. As well. Check the thyroid and set perfect. Yeah, I mean, antioxidants is great, my love. Okay, magnesium will be brilliant as well. If you're looking for something natural, bananas are good. Um, they've also got potassium in them, but they've also got vitamin A, B, and E, okay, which act as a shield against damage. They're going to help, and they've got magnesium in it as well. So eating them, not too much, but, you know, and even people mash them up and put them on their face with honey. So something like that will be good. Okay, so... So obviously when we age, we can get sagging thinning, wrinkling, age spots, broken blood vessels, dryness, flakiness, bone loses mus mass and muscles lose their strength. Okay, so we can see what's happening there. Now, I'm going to read a list of things that can help improve, all right, which can prevent and improve. Okay, so making sure you're getting enough sleep is essential. Okay, we don't want too much sleep and we don't want not enough. Okay, I know it's easier said than done, but, you know, try and listen to some relaxation music, some ASMR, um, some meditation or something like that. Okay, try to get a good sleep. Drink plenty of water, as I mentioned. Use sunscreen, sun protectant always and on your face. As a lot of people don't put it on their face. Less smoking and vaping, less alcohol, um, balanced diet, try to exercise regularly and get some fresh air, but make sure we are protecting our skin as well. Avoid repetitive expressions, okay? Now, when we are cleaning our face, do it gently and pat dry our face, no scrubbing and rubbing. Good skincare is an essential. Now, people can go down the line of Botox, fillers, facelifts, things like that, okay? Then there's laser treatments, peels, microdermabrasion, microneedling, dermaplaning, there's massage and different things like that, okay? There's so many different things available if you wanted to go down that route. All right, but that is, you know, something way off, really. We need to try and get your lifestyle sorted first. That is a big plus. And get in a good skincare regime. And making sure you've got, you know, you're not lacking anything. And then we need to be make, taking some supplements, okay? Now, it does depend what your diet is like. But I feel like having a multivitamin is really good. Okay. Now, I will write all this down for you and my findings. I will do a thorough report. And I will also have your blood results by then i will send you off to get those done um and then i can see if you're lacking anything and then i will give you some advice on what you should and shouldn't be taking okay but also i think we need to be having some supplements anyway things like boyotin zinc all right obviously vitamin c vitamin d vitamin a all right but i will have all that in the report Okay, and then it's literally working on your skin. So, we do have some pigmentation, as I said. Dullness, uneven skin tone. Fine lines. I Hydrate, 
Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Then we have black heads and open pores, nose and chin. Okay, and you have some broken clothes on the nose. And you had dark circles and hollowing. have pretty normal skin to be honest with you yeah probably if anything more swing towards the dry so normal to dry okay yeah but your face is extremely dehydrated and some places are worse than others the cheek area are really quite hydrated and so are your lids but everywhere else is quite gasping yeah Right, so I think we need to come up with some kind of skincare. But what we need to be doing now, this is twice a day, my love. Okay, we need to be cleansing with warm water, not hot and not cold. Okay, then once a week at least two at a at maximum we want to be exfoliating now because you are you know what concerned about aging we don't want anything too rough okay we don't want to be scrubbing the face too much so something really light something maybe like a paste with slightly little grains in or something will be ideal for you something like daily microfolant by dermalogica that is quite a good one Okay, so that gentle you can use it daily, but we don't want to use it daily, okay, once or twice a week. Okay, and that's going to remove any dead skin. Okay, we don't want any dead skin on you, it's gonna dry you out, it's gonna it's just not good. We want to rejuvenate your skin, okay? Make it more youthful. Then we are going to tone. Okay, now toning is going to close up your pores. That's going to stop you getting any blackheads and dirt and things in, in your follicles. All right. If you don't have a toner, then I say splash your face with cool water. But I prefer you to have a toner, maybe a moisturising toner that's maybe hydrating and maybe have some vitamin A in or something. Okay. Then I think we should be using a serum. Now there's different types of serums, okay? You can get a complex one or use separate serums, but you do need to be having a vitamin C and you want to be using niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. Now you may be able to get one together, either a cream or a serum base. You can look around to see which is best for you or you might have to get them individually, but you do need to apply them. Okay, then we want to be using an eye cream or serum, okay, or like my, myself, sometimes in the day I will use a serum and then in the evening I'll use like a, a richer cream. All right, so then you pop it on your eye. I will instruct you in a moment how to do it, okay. Then we're going to finish off with a moisturiser, which is essential, okay. You can get night cream and day cream as well, depending on obviously what brand or what you want to use. Night creams tend to be thicker and richer, okay. Yeah, and if you are wearing makeup, it is essential that you remove it all before going to bed and properly, okay. I'd avoid wipes, I don't like wipes, they're not very good, they're drying on your skin. I don't like normal soap, that's very drying. If you look at a bar of soap and it's wet and you leave it out and you see all the lines that are coming in, it, it's because it's drying out, you've dehydrated it. That's what's happening to your skin, so we don't do that, okay. Good. 
yeah we don't want nothing too harsh especially as we're aging as well we don't want nothing too harsh in your skin to dry it out all right we want to avoid drying your skin out we want to keep it dewy keep it glowing all right but not oily and not greasy okay good obviously there's other things but that's just it and once a week i must pop that down i'm going to be using a face mask now that can be sheet mask which i love a sheet mask can you always get one to under your eyes as well which are really nice a full face one even a lip one something like that now when we are doing our skincare we need to warm water rinse our face two pumps or whatever it is put it together and we're doing really good circle motions we want to clean your face okay nice bring it down scrub it and rinse it with your hands or you can use some pads okay then you want to exfoliate this bit depending on the type of exfoliator do the same scrub round really nice but nothing too harsh rinse or use your pads tone with some cotton pads and on always spritz it depending on what type okay and then you want to be using an eye cream or serum like and um, what you do put it on circle motions and then dab dab one two three four five six dab like that and then serums you're patting it on then creams and we're making sure we're always pulling upwards upwards up up circles and up is what we need to do to help reduce the sag yeah okay and once you get into it it's easy and it's just normal okay yeah so i was like I'll wash my face really good when i'm using the exfoliator i'll do that rinse it all off tone you know close all my pores up add some cream add my serums and moisturizer all right yeah and as long as you're using a cleanse toner and moisturizer they are essential but they have to be good yeah now products that have got vitamin a in are, are, are perfect for you so things like environ products you've got your cleansers toners moisturizers mass they've got everything okay they have vitamin a in their products okay so vitamin a is a good staple for you or you can use a serum in a form of like a retinol product okay so we'll pop retinol down for you so retinol okay so you can have that in serums you can have it in creams toners all sorts of different things okay yeah but if i was you i would take a look at environ products okay you can mix and match yeah with other brands i would say have your staple skin care and then you can add other bits in as well all right and trial and error okay now do you have any questions Okay, I know I've bombarded you with a lot of information today, but I know you're really concerned about things and what you could do to help improve. So I hope that has helped. Don't worry. I, as I said, I will do the written report. So I'll have all your results from your blood test. I'll have a written summary on everything I found, my thoughts and opinions. Then I'll have everything, a copy of everything that I've said to you today with some other advice and tips on how to do your skincare and different brands and things like that does that sound okay yeah then i'll get all that to you please give me a week or so because obviously it's a lot of information for me to gather for you yeah and then i can show you which skincare is appropriate for you and where i think you should go and what you should do all right does that sound like a plan good well, it was a pleasure to meet you, my lovely, but honestly, you look absolutely beautiful, okay? And your skin isn't as bad as you think, all right? But obviously, I'm at close examining every inch, so obviously, I'm going to be picking out things, but that's what you wanted me to do. But honestly, your skin is actually really nice. I think you could, you're could you just lacking using skincare, I think it's the big thing for you. And your skin's just dehydrated, you know, it's discoloured, and, you know, I'm wondering if you are lacking something so but we can stop the process escalating and a lot of it because it's just dehydration we can reverse that but as i said there is things down the line if you want to do more prevention or you know all right you are very very welcome my lovely you take care now bye bye